Um, what's up guys and gals, this is Roy from Roy's Customs. Um, I'm here today to uh, to work on a 12 inch fiberglass sub box. This will be a dual sub sub box. Uh, uh, it's going to be sealed. Um, it, it's something that I started quite a while back and I really need to go ahead and get it finished. Um, I, I, it's actually going to be probably for my car because the one that I had for my car was a bit big and it wasn't going to fit so I have to I had to do some remeasuring and stuff and anyways this will be the result um, I'm going to show you a few things here so you can see what I'm doing as you can see um, I already made this uh, this little uh, uh, compass as it were um, it's got like multiple holes. I actually just now just made it um, and anyways what you do is you get your drill bit um, and I used a sharpie so I used the same size a bit as the tip of my sharpie and um, what what that'll do is um, yeah. what that'll do is see so you go by center and you drill through the center which some of these aren't perfectly centered uh, but then after you get the hole drilled, and then you'll want to take your countersink and go ahead and countersink it in there. And then whenever you put your pin in, it'll stick down out the bottom, so um, so that it'll, you know, obviously make the mark. Um, and what you can do for your pivot is go ahead and pre-drill with the bit you're going to use and then you take you put it down the center of your pivot hole your guide hole um, this is going to be for the inner portion of the ring Oops. that'll give you a nice perfect circle the inner and outer portion. I know that seems like it's going to look awfully wide, but it really isn't. It's actually, you, you want to make sure you have a nice wide mount for your sub. Um, so there's, there's the first ring and that'll get cut out. This is probably going to be small enough for maybe a eight inch sub box or six by nines. Um, so that part will still be usable later on. Um, this here is actually not even MDF. This is actually an old, uh, it's actually an old uh, shelf. So, anyways, you can see the fake wood grain on the other side, but it's actually pretty strong. It's actually pretty heavy, so um, should be all right as a frame. It's not like it's going to be out in the rain and getting wet and stuff. So, uh, anyways, that's that's one way you can make uh, nice circles, and then you just keep this around. And uh, oh yeah, the reason I did uh, I did 11 inches is because the sub I'm using calls for 11 inches. You can actually check, make sure your measurements were good by measuring. Yep. Well, we're at like 11 and an eighth but that's okay you can have a little bit of squeeze room and some some sub frames are actually just a hair bigger than others and some are a hair smaller than others but if i'm running at 11 and an eighth we're good for my 12 inch sub um, so anyways first one is marked um, and i'll go ahead and mark the second one so at least I know my measurements were very good, very, very good. As a matter of fact, um, I need a tape measure. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm going down like seven and a half. And then what I'll do is I'll be going this way at like seven and a half. Um, this isn't anything that has to be perfect. It's just I was doing this for to make sure I had room to make my circle. Okay, and then go ahead. 
head and drill. Go ahead and drill out your guide hole that you're gonna need. Maybe you guys can't see that, but uh, there we go. I'm gonna drill out for the guide hole in your wood. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanna make sure that I got enough room on each edge. And of course, you'll have your guide hole. And then, if I'm using a Sharpie, you can use whatever you want, pencils, or you can go out and buy a compass if you choose to. So, it's going to kind of be up to you and what you want to do with your So And it works really, really well. So there you have it, a nice set of holes for your speaker rings. Oh, and if you'll notice, I was working a little bit last night on some of this. Uh, these are some dowel rods that I cut out of some, uh, some, uh, some wood that I actually got from work. Yeah, we're allowed to have wood at work. You know, we get a scrap pass and we can have the wood. So, anyways, um, what I also need to do is I also need to pre-drill a hole so I can get my jigsaw started. So, I'll have to do that momentarily. Oh, there we go. I'll just get the, uh, the big half inch that should be big enough for the blade to go through. You're going to want this pretty close to the edge, maybe not absolutely perfect on the edge, so you can have a little uh, leeway. But this is a starter hole, so you can get started, because you can always clean this stuff up and trim it up and stuff a little later, you know. But you want your measurements as right as possible, but they don't have to be completely 199.9%. They can be, they can be relatively close and you're still doing very well. Whoa, oh, come on. Well, that sucked. That makes me look really good on TV here, doesn't it? Uh, anyways. Okay, that much is finished. Um, when it comes to putting the frame together, I'll get to that as well. Uh, today is just going to be basically framing, and hopefully I'll get it in fleece. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to start fiberglassing it because I can't. I don't have enough resin, but I will at least get it in fleece today and show you what it's going to look like. And yes, I'm using a jigsaw. I wish I had a fancy schmancy router table and all that other fancy stuff that some of the big boys got, but I use what I have. And we good with that. I got this monster Black & Decker blade on this thing. This thing's amazing. It's really, really amazing. The one that came with this thing was kind of chintzy and cheap, so... Okay, as you can see, I, went, I, I, I start with the middle. And I start with the middle because you really don't want to start with the outside and then just be trying to hold this little circle to cut the inside of it out. Um, you want to go ahead and cut out the center first. That way you still have plenty to work with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the outside of this one. And then I'm going to start on the other one. Um, I need to change my uh, 
SD card in this thing because I've got like a little baby 4 gig and it doesn't give me as much recording time. Um, I know I got my 32 gig somewhere, I'm just not really certain where it's at. But uh, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll get this finished and then I'll work on that. <clears throat> and then I will get back with you momentarily. Okay, now we have two beautiful rings for 11 inch, or 11 inch rings for 12 inch subs. Yes, it almost makes no sense, but how they measure subs is to the outside of the ring, not the cone, the inner portion. So, so a 12 inch sub really isn't 12 inches. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so, um, I'm going to have to take a minute and decide how I want this to be framed up and once I decide that I will cut back in and let you all see that part. Well, okay, up to this point I've got stuff figured out for the most part. I went ahead and measured. Um, how I measured this was I took one of my dowel rods and I went across it and I kind of squared it up and I measured from the bottom kind of where I want my dowel rods to be for the bottom. This is going to be a, a, a tripod so I'll have to have another one at the top but I'll go ahead and get these screwed on here and get this kind of into place and then I can figure out my other dowel rods which I'm going to have to cut out of that piece new dowel rods but Anyways, I'll go ahead and I'll get this put together here. I went ahead and pre-drilled my holes in the dowel rods as well as everything else. Um, to find my well, I couldn't find the one I was looking for, but I've got like a million of them. But it's not the point. The other one was actually the one that came with this drill. Not that it matters, but it's not all rusty. So, anyways, like I say pre-drill your holes. Go ahead and get it started in this hole. Wow, that's squeaky. Not sure why. Starts coming out the other side. And now, to decide what we're gonna do about this part. I've already got my angle set on my dowel rods, as you can see. It's like a 50 degree angle or something. I can't remember what I said at. So, okay. I mean, if you want to do more extensive than this, you can, but you really don't need to. This is pretty much all you need for a frame. Um, there's other ways to make frames. Okay, guys, now that we have our frame put together, um, it's time to take our fleece. This is just one of those two or three dollar blankets, fleece blankets from Wally World. It's nothing spectacular. It does stretch quite a bit one way, but it doesn't really stretch that much the other way. So, okay, we're going to start by kind of loosely flopping it over the top.
I'll get to fiberglass in it as soon as I can. Anyways, I'm going to call it done on this video. And I'm going to give you a closer look at what it looks like a lot closer now that it's fleeced. As I say, um, have a spectacular day or night. And whichever one it is for you. Peace out.